If you're a project manager looking to elevate your presentations, enhance your communications, revamp your internal internet sites, or simply improve any artifact with stunning visuals, then you're in the right place. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can quickly, effectively, and easily create impactful imagery, which will transform your work and captivate your audience. So before I begin, I do just want to quickly preface this video. You will need to be subs subscribed to a ChatGPT Plus plan. So that is a, a paid plan and it costs, I believe, around $20 per month. So I do just want to make you aware of that. If you're not on a paid plan, you will not be able to access this feature, uh, at least at the time of recording. So the first thing you need to do is sign into your account and assuming you are signed up to the plus plan or higher, what you'll need to do is you'll need to navigate over to the GPT-4 model. And once you get there, you need to select the Dully 3 option, which should be at the bottom and it will say beta next to it. Beta simply meaning that it is being tested. So we are in the early phases of development. I can only assume that this is going to get better. Once you have that selected, you'll see a little uh, tick next to it, and you need to ensure that that's selected or otherwise this won't work. From here, you simply need to describe the type of image you are looking for. I've done one ahead of time, and I'm just gonna paste it into the bottom here. I'm gonna show you exactly what you can expect, um, and I'll just kind of walk you through it. So the important thing is, is that you're as specific as possible. So here I've said that I'm looking for a photo of a project manager in a boardroom giving a presentation to colleagues. Now the use of the word photo is very, very important because we want it to look realistic. Now, of course, you may not want something like a photo, so you can play around with this prompt, but I do just want to, to let you know um, that uh, this is the kind of a, a good starting prompt and it's one I would suggest. You could also say, something, uh, actually, you know what, let me submit this prompt and we'll see what comes out. And the other really good thing with this is that every time you generate this, you're going to get something different. Specifically, if you update it a little bit further, you can refine it to get something really uh, impressive and that you're looking for right from the outset. So once you've hit your prompt, you'll see that this uh, pops up and it basically says, says that Dali 3 is working and it's busy creating your images. So it runs for a minute or so, and here we go. Incredible. Here are the images based on your description. Please let me know if they meet your expectations or if you'd like any modifications. And at this point, we could simply say, um, you know, I don't want this, I don't want that, I don't want it to be by the window as an example. But you know what, this is absolutely brilliant. It's, it's well, I think it is. Um, not only are there no kind of issues here, but it's taken into account um, every different kind of aspect of, a, of, of project management. So for instance, what I mean by that is this is exactly what a boardroom would kind of look like. It's even got the kind of chair style that you'd expect. You've got the, you know, the graphics, the project um, analysis on the, on the screen, which just looks absolutely brilliant. So, you know, these are the kind of things that you could, you could put on, say, an internet site. That's just one prompt. I've not been that specific. Now you can imagine where this can go. Um, so let's just say, um, let's start a new chat. Um, again, make sure Dully 3 is selected. Uh, I am creating a project management presentation explaining, uh, oh, no, no, let's put, but providing a project, providing a project status update. Um, please provide a range of images. No, no please provide uh, an image of, and here's where you could be quite specific. So if I put this just to illustrate where you could kind of imp implement your own uh, specifications. You could say something like, um, please write an image of, I don't know, Chicago City, of London City. I'll, I'll do that actually. Of London City, which we could, which will be featured on the 
uh, front slide. So, you know, that kind of really professional, actually, let's, let's actually put that word in. Please, a professional image of London City, which will be featured on the front slide. So, you know, when you get those kind of um, presentation decks where they seem to have the kind of city at the start, that's, that's my kind of thinking here. Um, let's submit it and see what we get. Of course, you can update this to anything you like. You may not even want to do something like that. You could, it depends on the city you work in, depends on where your clients are, but you get the idea. You could even t type in the type of project. So I'll show you that in a moment, actually. You could be, so, no, no, I'll wait till this to, to generate. We'll see what we get uh, and then we'll, um, and, and then we'll reassess. What I'm trying to show you here, this, these are just examples. I want you to go into ChatGPT, particularly if you've got a paid plan, otherwise you may want to, to kind of uh, uh, upgrade your account. Um, wow. Um, yeah, this is brilliant. I mean, this is absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'm Obviously you can probably tell by my accent, uh, I am based in London and this is just, um, absolutely brilliant you got the London Eye here you've got a lot of the construction work that's going on it's, it's true you've got um, you know some of the key I think this is called the Gherkin the walkie-talkie Big Ben you've got all of the main attractions here and they even look it's even similar weather um, it's on a bright morning you know I could be a, been a lot more specific here houses of Parliament I could be so much more specific here um, in terms of what I want it to show but um, there you go, Tower Bridge, River Thames, fl flowing serenely in the foreground. Brilliant. I mean, this you could download this, and this would just be great, um, particularly if you're working on a, in a professional setting with clients based in London. Alternatively, we have this. This is just absolutely amazing. Um, I absolutely love this. It is so artistic as well. This would look great on the front of a presentation slide. Um, you know, you could even put this. You could put this on an internet site. But I just want to, and then you can download it and you've got a kind of JPEG or, or PNG image. I'm not sure actually how it downloads. Um, but yeah, you could just, you know, a high vantage point during the day, capturing the blend of historical architecture and modern skyscrapers with bustling streets and patches of green park. Brilliant. And I even like the kind of description. And, and this is where it's really clever as well, okay? This is where I just kind of jogged my memory. This is the prompt which has generated this. So I didn't even give it this prompt and it's provided this, but we can take this, we can take this prompt, copy it, and then we can go again and we can see what chat GPT throws out, or we can base future prompts based on this. Now, as I say, I want you to go into chat GPT. I want you to explore depending on your needs, okay? So as an example, let me just go back in there. I'm gonna copy and paste this. Let's just try this again. I am, I'm creating a, let's keep the, that as this. No, uh, yeah, let's leave that at the start. You could put, you could put something like, I am creating an email to internal colleagues, to the project team, you get the idea. This is where you can define it. Um, but we'll keep that the same just for, to save time. I don't want this video to go on for too long. I am creating a project management presentation providing a project status update. Please provide an, a graphic, so that's another style of word we can use, a graphic for a pie chart which shows, um, what could we include in the pie? Um, no, let's change this to providing a Project state subject. Please provide a graphic for a, or put bar chart. I don't know what's, I've never put this in before, by the way, just to let you know, just to preface this. I don't know what's coming back. <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting. Please provide a graphic for a bar chart uh, explaining, oh no, showcasing, showcasing the project risks. We have four risks, four risks to be mitigated. Four and, and two are resolved. As I say, probably would need to be a lot more specific than this. I do not know what's gonna come back, but I'm just trying to, I'm trying to test the platform. I'm trying to see what it's capable of, and I'm trying to use it in different ways. And I'd like you to do that. That is that is AI and ChatGPT in a nutshell. It's it's playing around with it and trying to see what you can do. And, put, and for your own use case, I mean, this may not be relevant to you, or it may be entirely relevant. So let's see what happens. Hopefully it won't take too long. 
you should know by now, but by this video that it doesn't typically take that long. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I, it's, they're interesting, if nothing else. You could, this is where we'd go into the modifications. So as an example, we could say, refine uh, image two. So let's say we want this one to be updated. Refine image two um, with a white background. What does that say? Re reset. Risk to be, is, you can actually see the text is actually a bit off. So we could say refine image two with a white background, just have um, four risks to be mitigated and two resolved. You get the idea, that's where you would refine it. I'm not gonna go any longer in this video. As I say, there's so many different ways that this can be used and explored and I do suggest that you do that. Um, I'm using, I'm, you know, as I say, I'm testing this, but I'm using this in my day to day. I'm using it for a lot of the kind of the, the imagery of say, you know, your city skylines, those kind of things. I work in the financial sector, so it really, really works. You can even say something like that. Let's actually do that one more time. So, um, I work, I'm going to really mix this up. So typically I work in the financial sector, uh, for a multinational company, but I'm going to put in here, I work for a construction company. I am a project manager creating um, an internal website to help fellow stakeholders learn more about our projects. Create an image um, of me, the project manager on site no, we're gonna change it to photo. Create a photo of me, the project manager, on site, from behind, because <laughs> it's not gonna be my face, you see. That's why I'm putting that. With a hard hat, overlooking building work. Include a crane, a digger truck, a digger, no, I just put a digger, a truck, and several other people, several other other builders. I, I don't know what's coming out here, but what I'm just trying to show you is how we can, yeah, how we can really be specific. You know, like I've gone into with a hard hat. I'm from behind. I don't want it to show my face because it's not going to be, it's not going to be able to produce me, is it? It doesn't know what it's looking to do. But as I say, let's see what happens. The more specific you can be, the better, generally. This is interesting, isn't it? Who knows what's gonna come out here? Oh my, that is phenomenal. That is absolutely phenomenal, if I say so myself. That, I'm, I'm blown away by that, personally. It's taken into account everything I've said. It's, um, it's got loads of little things in there that just make it look really genuine. So you obviously got the sand, it's got this kind of construction building, you know, half built, you got piles of, I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna say cement. I'm not, as you can tell, I don't, I'm not proficient with building. This one, also fantastic. I like the way we look great. We look kind of uh, really professional. I like the way we're at height. That's the kind of idea I have. We've got the car park in the background, the greenery. So yeah, and here we go. This is the prompt that's been used to generate this. But I just, I hope this video is useful. I hope you, it's, it's sparked ideas. I hope you've got a better, um, you got some potential avenues to explore here. And I hope that ultimately you get those images, those impactful images that you need. So I do suggest you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, hit the like button. If you've got any comments about this video, then do drop them down below. And uh, you have a whole playlist on using ChatGPT and project management and also just other AI tools as well. So be sure to check that out. And with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.